Hi. 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 You're not Froggy you Flips, are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! I watch you on YouTube. Oh really? Hi. Yeah, I do. That's awesome. What's your name? Connie. Connie, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice did you get some good stuff here? Hi. Yeah, I did. Did you? I did. I think I did. We'll see. <laughs> Thrifting ain't easy. I'm feeling creepy. Comping diapers on my eBay app. Good morning, guys. Welcome back. My name is Anthony. So yard sale treasure map is pretty much just uh, tumbleweeds and cobwebs at this point. So I've been looking a lot at estatesales.net. And yesterday when I was looking, I noticed a little online auction for local pickup. Just things grouped together in lots, absolutely no descriptions, and just tiny little grainy pictures. So I threw some bids out on some things. One a few. I think I'm in total about 55 bucks for like four or five lots. So I kind of just want to see if this is a viable way to add a little sourcing to my schedule now that yard sales are pretty much kaput. So Elliot and I are going to go real quick and pick up what we got, check it out, see if we did good at our 55 bucks or not, and see if we'll do this again in the future. Also, I got something strange in the mail, and I think I know what it might be. So make sure you stick around because we're going to open this up. And if it is what I think it is, then I think it's going to result in a giveaway. So you're not going to want to miss that. And the last thing before we head out, let me show you something. So people have been asking a lot about merch lately, and I don't really have any. However, Sarah made some Froggy Flips Christmas ornaments. Not a lot, they're very limited, but I think they're really cool. So if anyone is interested in a Froggy Flips Christmas ornament, it has my little logo frog on the front and says Froggy Flips, and on the back it says love ya, then as soon as this video goes live, these will be available on my big cartel store. Like I said, there's not a lot, so if you're interested, go ahead and grab one. If not, no hard feelings, but people have been asking for something, and we just like to do things a little bit differently sometimes. So if you're interested, go check out the Big Cartel link down in the description. Thank you, Sarah. All right, let's go pick up this auction crap. I, I oh, did something in the car. Hold on, hold on, let's my glasses. It's an Iron Man. Oh. It's an Iron Man hand for me. What, did you see it? Here, yeah. right? It's in there. Okay. Hi. Hi. You're not Froggy Flips, are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! I watch you on YouTube. Oh really? Yeah, I do. That's awesome. What's your name? Connie. Connie, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice did you get some good stuff here? Hi. Yeah, I did. Did you? I did. I think I did. We'll see. <laughs> see my mask. I see. Yeah. There's a Froggy too. Yeah, a Froggy. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. Do I talk to you about picking up? Yeah. What's the first name? Uh, Anthony. Anthony mm -hmm. Frogan. Yep. You have four lots. Yep. You have the last four of the yeah, card number. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, is it 1653? Yeah, nice. And you know what? They won't die. I can double check. <laughs> the lady's right here. Danny. Yeah, bud. Take a minute for me sure, no problem. I cannot see an Iron Man hand on the wolf. What do you think an Iron Man hand is up there? That'd be crazy. I'll have them finish that lot and I'll bring your Sure, thank you. Daddy, see what? how the door is open? Yeah, they're bringing stuff out, aren't they? Yeah, but. I think I want to get a face out of there. A what? A face out of there. They're getting that stuff out of there, okay? Do you think we got some good stuff? Thank you. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Can they go in? No, they're going to bring us stuff, okay? It's going to be awesome. But I want them to, to, to bring me out something. Uh oh. I want them to bring me out a big toy. I don't, I don't think I got any toys. We'll see what I got, okay? But then I want to see my... You're going to help me carry stuff. I want to see my stuff. Oh, you got stuff too? And I got statues at, statues? at my home. Oh. Oh. Uh. Cool. Whoa, that guy was fat! Whoa, that guy was fat! 
Here, the orange guy. The orange guy? Yeah. Was it awesome? It was awesome. Thank you. All right, here's some of it, Elliot. Hey, what's that? Oh. Peek and Zeke. All right, here, let's carry this stuff, and then we'll come back. Glasses? Yeah, the, those are my sunglasses. Okay, let's, let's go get some more. I got there, and I my Oh. Here's some more, you ready? Yeah. They were driving our car! Oh my gosh. Do you don't see it? I didn't even see it. I was bidding on that lot too, that little cup. Oh I yeah. I got one that said it was a, uh, oh, a profit calculator or something that was designed by some guy. Oh, really? Oh. Uh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I don't recognize your name's red in your videos. I'm yeah. the dude that was in your last video. Oh, really? Over at the... the um, at the Bay 7? Yeah, the hat, you put your hashtag right, right. up there. I'm like, there I am right oh, there. That's funny. Like yeah, it's a troll. <laughs> what? It's a troll, Daddy. Yeah, it's a troll. <laughs> it's like a shelf troll. Yeah, it's a peek and Zeke. Nice. Yeah, I sold mine. It, it was in a box and it had a guy's name on it. Uh -huh. I think I sold it for about 20 bucks or more. And what was that? Like, just this. Oh, really? But it said it was a profit calculator. Huh. And it's got some, it was made in Germany. That's you know, the guy who GE. designed these circular calculators. Right. Huh. Yeah, it's made in Hong Kong, so I guess it's kind of old. Yeah. Yeah, mine was older. It's pretty neat. Was, had a little bit of oh, really? And I saw the shuffle and the, yeah, that's the little one, but I assume no, I was surprised nobody was bidding on it. Yeah, that one kind of went for a little too cheap. I, I bought one of those, you know, white ones when it first came out. This went for way too cheap because it was hidden under a. Uh, oh, I didn't even see yeah. it. Yeah. It was hidden under like a uh, paper shredder. Yeah. Nice. I'm pretty excited about that one. Yeah. And that's how you put that daddy. Yep. Are you going to carry it? I'm going to pick it up. Too. I couldn't figure out what model it was. Oh, the Epson or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even see that one. It, it was on the contents of one shelf huh. with uh, books, and there was one creative speaker. It's like, let me get I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But on the corner, it's an architectural model Lego. You know, uh -huh. They sell for about 80 bucks. Oh, that's awesome. Assuming it's all there. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Where do you live? Which side? North? Uh, I live just a little bit east of here. Okay. Yeah. You remember there's an elf at our house? An elf? An elf on a shelf? Yep. We had to hide ours this morning. Keep them good. Last night. <laughs> Did you find him? Oh. <laughs> What's your name again, man? Mike. Mike. That's yeah, me. Sure. I'm Anthony. Yeah, I didn't even see you. I remember your pile back there. Uh huh. And um, I, I mean, I saw you, but I didn't recognize you yeah. because of the mask yeah. and all that. And your hair looks redder. I thought you had red hair. Is it your beard or something? Just or your video. Just the beard is red That's for some what reason. I'm yeah. I'm expecting yeah. a redhead. I was never a redhead. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Let's see. Let's see this in here. I think they're doing it again on the 19th. Oh, okay. I think so. Facebook. Go in there. I, I, mean, I go in there and check it. What's your first name? Uh, Mike. Mike. Okay, let's see. A lot of this is junk I didn't care about. It's mixed in with other stuff, so it is what it is.
here. Okay, let's go back. You ready? That's a cool one. Yeah, I didn't I, see that one. I didn't even see it in the. I thing. didn't either. The only thing that drew me to that was like, got the Blu ray drive yeah. and, and like the nice uh, yeah, Sound Blaster sound, card. Yeah. I didn't yeah, see it in, in the. I didn't thing. see it on the auction That's some thing either. Stuff. Same it was with, with this one right here. Same so. thing with that. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, this was hidden. What was yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, AC's graphics. Sorry. I don't know. I'll give you a dollar more than what you paid for. <laughs> oh, man. I don't want it. I'm a Mac guy now. I like my stuff small. I spent 20 years in IT for you. I'm over it. I think even parts this was a steal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Hey, see. <laughs> one, see. One, see. Put this right here. Hold on, just a couple more trips, okay? Okay. Okay. Here. Okay. I think one more trip, okay? Okay. I think there's so many. Yeah. I will put it on my finger. What is that thing at the bottom? This? Yeah. It's a, a HP Pro Desk desktop computer. Oh, it is a desktop. Mm -hmm. I, I got a finger cover. Maybe it was like a power. Oh, no, it's actually a computer. It's, a, it's just hidden underneath a, uh, a uh, paper shredder in the picture. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I just saw that word right there. I was like, ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> 12 bucks, might as well. Yeah, you can't beat that. <laughs> Uh, we'll Even see, if you it, use it for parts. Oh yeah, you know. yeah, for sure. I'm a Mac guy, but you know, for that price, I'll add this to my arsenal yeah. even too. Yeah, that's true. Yep, let's I'm go. Be in your next video, right? Yeah, uh, probably quite a bit, actually. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Take it easy. Right on. I think we're pretty safe at 55 bucks, Elliot. What do you think? Let's go home and look. All right, guys, so we are back. Like I said, this was a $55 buy cost for all of this. Uh, I think it equates to four separate auction lots. It's gonna be a lot of crap that I don't care about, but when you buy these auction lots, obviously I've taken the bad with the good, but I've kind of thumbed through a few things and I'm pretty happy and pretty excited about what, about what we got. Hold on, let me move this monitor out of the way before it falls. All right, so if we start in here, this was a paper shredder. It's actually all broken up and stuff, but but I didn't even care about that. It was it was it was covering up something else. So so that was actually good for me because no one else noticed what it was covering up. But inside here, it looks like a lot of Christmas stuff. I don't know if I'll pull all this out because I don't think it's going to be that that good of stuff. Um, here's actually a communion set right there. Uh, some more Christmas stuff. Looks like some HP photo card stuff. Some paper. Some different angels and whatnot. I mean, obviously, I'll look for maker's marks on some of this stuff and just make sure. But I'm thinking a lot of this is just like tchotchkes that, that people put out for Christmas. So not really my style. I'll let Sarah go through it and I'll probably end up donating the rest. This was a pretty cool lot right here that I thought went for undervalue because it just looked like a bunch of crap. But inside these little tubs, a lot of like miscellaneous like... Uh, like compact flash cards and flash drives and stuff like that, which actually I've done well selling in lots. There's not a lot of them, but these compact flash cards can oftentimes be sought after. So they're always good to at least look up. There's some Pentel lead right there. Inside this one, there's a bunch of Lionel train buttons. Uh, there's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like, like nine of them, I guess, in there. A little Wolf business card holder. Again, nothing special. I think I might put that in the booth to hold my business cards. I think that'd look pretty cool. This is pretty neat. A Lionel Train collectible watch. Still in the tin with the plastic still on it. So very cool indeed. Again, that was just mixing with everything. Some more odds and ends. Here's a limited edition Georgia Marble Train. Cool little, their alligator or crocodile from Miami, it says. It's a little gift shop tchotchke. Storm glass, a little box opener, some tape measures, a USB power supply, you know, just a bunch of crap like that. Down here, actually got some pretty decent stuff. Got some different calculators. These are sharp. Here's a little Radio Shack uh, scientific calculator that I actually think is pretty decent. 
and I love finding these little uh, sharp scientific computer things. I usually do really well with these. Uh, sometimes these can bring as much as like 50 bucks just on their own without any accessories or anything. So definitely a cool little find inside there. Always look out for these little sharp scientific long landscape type calculators. A little first alert carbon monoxide detector. Scratch wrap always comes in handy when you're a reseller. A couple iPod shuffles. This is actually what I saw that made me even bid on this. I think for all this stuff I paid way less than these were even worth, so that's pretty cool. And then I did not see this in the picture, but I just found it when I was looking through stuff. It's a uh, Mother of Pearl case knife. This honestly could pay for everything just on its own. So, so I love when something like that happens. Always look out for case knives. This one is pretty pristine. Uh, blade shiny, handle's not cracked. It, it looks really good. I'm thinking it's probably at least 50 or 60 bucks. Uh, these little things, train whistle, a little pocket knife, flashlight, some scissors, they actually look like good scissors. These are Klaus's in the USA. There's some hot drop forge scissors. I love buying little lots like this because you never know what's gonna be in the bottom of it. And sometimes it just happens to pan out just like it did with this knife right here. So very cool. Now along with that comes the bad, which is you know some of this construction paper. I don't know, maybe Sarah can use it. But for now, let's just get out of the way. And some more odds and ends. There's a peeping Zeke right there. A bunch of uh, hand-knit finger puppets of different animals. Probably homemade, but I still think it's kind of neat. There's like some magnets. There's some sort of pocket game player made by All Star Marketing Group. Probably some weird promotional item. A little eye home. Here's a really interesting uh, pencil cup made by General Electric full of pencils and pens, a bunch of GE stuff in there. So obviously I'll look some of these up on their own. The fellow that I met there said that he has sold something similar for decent money before, so possibly even the cup has value. I don't know. Always pick up lots of pens and pencils, especially when they look old because you never know and stuff like that. I'll look them up later though. Uh, looks like some old possibly Girl Scout patches or something. Boy Scout patches, I don't know for sure. Sometimes vintage ones have value. They're all holiday figures, I don't know. Are these statues or pins or something? I'm not sure. Uh, some more of the Christmas stuff, I'll throw it in there. Some more of that. A little uh, cat tray of some sort. This was part of the lot with, with all this paper and stuff. And what I saw was just a thing of, of old buttons, which is what made me spend a couple dollars on this. I've not gone through them yet, but always buy old buttons when you see them because you never know. White socks from 1982. Corn stuff. Serve the Lord, Jesus loves me. We take time to help. Bunch of different stuff in here. So it'll be fun to look all these up and look through them. You never know when you're gonna find a cool old button that has some value. But when they're when they're super cheap, you might as well grab them because you just never know. Ooh, there's a Walt Disney World pin. Ooh, two of them. And then hidden in the pictures, I saw a couple computers. This is an HP ProDesk right here. It's an i3 processor with a 7th gen. It's model HP ProDesk 600 G3 NT. It looks brand new. And the accessories for it have not even been opened yet. There's the power cable. And there is the keyboard. So, I have, I mean, obviously I don't know if this stuff works, but I do honestly have high hopes for it. I think, I think that this came to around maybe 17 bucks or something, so that is an absolute steal. Again, for some reason they showed the picture of the paper shredder. Luckily I saw what the computer was, and I think I'll do just fine on that. And then the computer that, that came with this monitor right here was this Asus computer. It looks like a gaming computer to me, I'm not exactly sure what the model is. But it's got a, a uh, Sony DVD writer, it's got an LG Blu-ray multi-drive in there, it's got a Sound Blaster Fatality card. Looks like it has like a Firewire port and some USB ports. And then some more stuff back here. But again, this just looks like money to me. Maybe it's super old and outdated, I don't know. But I'm gonna hook it up and try to figure it out. Because I don't necessarily seek out desktop computers, but when they just kind of fall in my lap like this, I, I find them super easy to flip locally, which is probably what I'll end up doing. And if nothing else, I'm sure I can part it out and still not get hurt. Because like I said, $55. So I don't know, let me know what you guys think but I'm pretty sure that we're gonna do just fine on this lot here. All right, on to the mystery box. So quick story time. All right, do you remember when all the shutdowns and everything were happening back in like, I don't know, March or whatever? So I was trying desperately to figure out what to make videos of and I was just putting out some really weird, bizarre, stupid stuff. And one of my ideas was something called Reseller Chain Letter where I took a very bizarre thrift store buy and I sent it to a reselling YouTuber uh, with a cryptic letter and asked them to pass it on and so forth and so on and so on until it reached like 12 different people. 
and was in 12 different videos. Well, I'm embarrassed to say I kind of forgot about it and I completely lost track of it. And then a couple weeks ago, I get a message from Joe, the Philly picker, uh, that he has indeed mailed it back to me. Now, another embarrassing thing that happened is I no longer have the P.O. box that I asked them to send it to. So luckily it got back to Joe. Joe got my correct address and he sent it back to me. So here is my reseller chain letter mystery box. Um, some of you have probably seen this and many of you have probably no clue what it is. But the goal was that it would reach 12 different people, eventually make its way back to me, and then I would make it a giveaway as kind of a, a prop that someone that enjoys reselling YouTube videos might like. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna open it up and show you what it is in case you don't already know. And if you would like to win this entire prize pack right here, this exciting prize pack, all you have to do is be a subscriber to this channel like always, like the video, and leave a comment down below with the word, I don't know, blueberry. So. If you don't want to be considered to win, leave a comment that doesn't have the word blueberry. If you do want to be considered to win, subscribe, like, and leave a comment with the word blueberry. And that's going to be what we do. So let me open it up real quick. Inside we have, I think this is the, oh, a bunch of people have put stuff inside it. So that's pretty cool. Um, so there's a bunch of stickers. There's the card I asked everybody to sign. Uh, looks like everyone everyone did it here's the letter itself i won't i won't read this right now but i will just tell you where all it's been real quick so we have me froggy flips john the cincinnati picker aaron best offer queen jeremy and george what the hails conky and noreen from conky Flippin' adventure uh nate and anthony from every day i'm hustling and and picksburg kelly hip flip and mama johnny cajun roots reseller victoria adventures and reselling trish nana tinka dan from art vandalay and joe the philly picker so there here is where it has been to all those different people and they were all nice enough to forward it on to someone else and now it is back in my possession and soon to be in one of your possessions so just in case you don't know here is the item it's a vintage pack of tampax tampons yeah never thought i would see this again but these people made it happen so here it is so if you would like to win this entire pack right here with all the stickers and and the card signed and the letter itself and this just uh do what i said earlier and i will send it out to you so thank you guys so much for playing along. That was a lot of fun. And I'm sorry that I lost track of it. All right, guys, so that was a lot of stuff. The moral of the story is auctions probably don't make up for the thrill of the hunt as far as digging through boxes in old barns and garages and stuff. But it's still a lot of fun, and I'm going to keep doing it. So stay tuned for that. But that's all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye. When they hear that cha-ching, and they all look at me I guess they'll know why I'm buying this crap